call the member for Lawler. Thank you, Mr Speaker. On this day two years ago, the electors of Lawler put their trust in me to become the member for Lawler. A humbling experience. Two years later, being the member for Lawler is inspiring. The people I meet, their stories, their resilience, their determination and their aspirations drive me every day. I'm driven by what I see on the ground, by the community organisations working tirelessly to assist the underprivileged, by the sport and leisure associations and organisations, the volunteers that work in those to keep them going, by the young families getting their children involved in school and in sport, by our school communities, by their leaders, teachers and parents. I'm inspired by our workers who get up early every day and go to work to ensure their families are housed, clothed and inspired again. I'm inspired by our business owners and by those particularly who care about their customers and their workers. In short, Mr Speaker, I'm inspired by the community spirit. I'm inspired by the way our community meets its challenges. On election night two years ago, I committed to being a strong voice for my local community, a community that is meeting enormous challenges of high growth, of changing cultural demographics and a changing world. And they are doing this through collaborating, through working together. They are doing this by problem solving and building communities from the ground up in new housing estates all over the city of Wyndham. Deputy Speaker, on election night, I made a commitment to be that strong voice, and tonight I reaffirm that commitment. I re reaffirm that I am committed to making sure that the people I represent are heard in this place. So tonight I want to talk about what they need. And what the people of Lawla need, Deputy Speaker, are jobs. They need to ensure that industries of the future are coming into their community. They live in a large city with travel times to the CBD of Melbourne that can be up to an hour and a half each way. They live with limited public transport, buses that can take 40 minutes to get them to a train station, Deputy Speaker. They need jobs of the future. They need commitment from the federal government to ensure that the cities that, that they live in, that the city of Wyndham, is connected to that CBD through public transport. They need access to the MBN for business, from small home-based micro-businesses to tradies to our large warehouses and manufacturing industries. They need a quality education. It is critical in my community that the thousands of young people, 80 babies born a week, Mr Speaker, that we have quality early childhood education services and quality schools with quality teachers. It is important that the supports are put in place to ensure that our kids get the best start in life. They need access to health services. They need quality services for the aged. As I've said, they need infrastructure. A high growth community needs enormous infrastructure. They need good support from local government, state government and federal government. And so many of these needs, Deputy Speaker, are not being met in my electorate under this government. And it is my job as a representative, as the member for Lawler, to stand here time and time again until their voices are heard. This government has cut funding to education. I've seen the positive evidence the impact of additional resources had on our local schools under the previous Labor government. The lift was remarkable, but it is now under threat as the resources are not being guaranteed. Cuts to preventative health programs. We've had attacks on Medicare. We've had the replacement of Re Medicare locals with a larger organisation that is expected now to do the same work across more municipalities with less money. We've had no new NBN areas. We've had unemployment rates rising, youth unemployment rising in the electorate. We've had local car and shipbuilding manufacturing industries closing and under threat, Deputy Speaker. 
My community needs this government to take its needs seriously, Deputy Speaker, and I call on it to do so.